Did I get you? I am just so frightening. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is officially spooky season. It is October. So we're going to be watching Halloween type movies this month. First up is going to be Paranorman. Now, I have never watched Paranorman, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm pretty excited to watch it. I actually didn't really know what the plot was about, but from the little short summary that Netflix gave me, it's about a boy who could talk to dead people and he has to like save the town against a zombie outbreak. There have been a lot of zombie content in the past few years. You know, sometimes it's hard to make a really original zombie movie. So I wonder how this will hold up against like the other movies. And before we get started, thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. Do you ever feel like you want to change up your coffee routine? Well, with Trade, you can discover new coffees from some of the best local roasters and then they will match you with coffees fitting your preference. All you have to do is take a short quiz about how you like your coffee and Trade will match you with some that you might like. Then you choose your delivery frequency and it will be shipped straight from the roaster to your door for peak freshness. You will never run out of fresh coffee. And the shipping material material is plant-based and 100% compostable, so it won't create a lot of waste. And lastly, you rate your matches so Trade can continue sending you delicious coffee and repeat. I love the taste of coffee. I'm Vietnamese and I usually make my coffee Vietnamese coffee style, which uses a fin filter and has sweet condensed milk and lots and lots and lots and lots of ice. What I love about Trade is that there's a huge variety. Sometimes I want to be adventurous and experiment with beans that have unique notes and flavors. I chose these coffees specifically for the notes, especially this one, the Alma coffee in, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce this, Belen Gualcho. I remember reading the notes for this and I said it had malt chocolate, green grape, and graham cracker notes. Doesn't that sound insane? I immediately was intrigued. Admittedly, I'm pretty bad at distinguishing certain notes and flavors, but from first smell, I definitely could sense the acidity from the green grape, and I could also taste it as well. It's definitely something different, and it keeps me from getting bored from my usual coffees. My viewers will get their first bag for free when they sign up, and free shipping is also included. Trade guarantees that you will love your first coffee, but if you don't, they'll ship you a different bag also for free. To get started, just take the quiz by clicking on the link in the description box below. All right, without further ado, let's get started on Paranorman. Oh my god, that is a stepped on brain. I was gonna say eaten brain, but then she stepped on it. Oh, uh, they're watching a zombie movie. Damn, she's thick. What's happening now? The zombie is eating her head. Oh my god, his brows are intense. He's gonna ruin his dinner. <laughs> I'm sure if they just bothered to sit down and talk it through, it'd be a different story. Tell him to turn up the thermostat too, will ya? What you watching in there? <laughs> Sex and violence. His mom looks fucking tired. Oh my god, all the all the women in this so far are so thick. Grandma says, can you turn up the heating? Her feet are cold. <laughs> your grandmother is dead! I know. Oh, oh. Your grandmother was old and sick, and she died. It's to me. Oh my god, is there someone on that swing? I won't have him turn out like that uncle of yours. Ooh. Norman's head. No has his uncle... Do with uncle Prendergast in years. Prendergast? Oh my gosh, what a name. Does his uncle also talk to ghosts? Not much time. <laughs> oh my god. His uncle about to create the zombies. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you guys. Oh my god, the neighbors are like, what the hell? Hey there, little buddy. Come on. Oh my god, I was right. Oh, I thought it was like a dead dog, not a the run over skunk. My eyes have deceived me. That is not a skunk. How you doing? Hey, how you Oh my god, that Hi. man. Is sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> the bird with the plastic around his neck. Wow, kind of love these details. Kind of fun. Witchy wieners. I'm trying to make a dirty joke out of that, but nothing is coming to mind. It must suck being able to like talk to dead people though because they'd be everywhere and then once dead people know that you can see them 
I feel like they would not let you, like, leave you alone. Oh, he had that on hand. Hey, ghost jerk, you know what? Like, it's fucking Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Why is the witch always a hideous old crone with a pointy hat and a broomstick? I don't believe it's historically accurate. They put her on trial and hanged her. Their souls, their souls doomed. She reminds me of the drama teacher from High School Musical. Like really dramatic. My drama teachers back in the day were never this dramatic. They put her on trial and hanged her. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Why did he say sorry as if it's his fault? Poor kid. It's okay, kid. You're better than them. They can't even spell. I like to be alone. So do I. Let's do it together. <laughs> oh, you. They always do stuff like that to me. Because I'm fat, and my allergies make my eyes leak. And I have irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, shit. At such a young age, that fucking sucks, actually. If you were bigger and more stupid, you'd probably be a bully, too. It's called survival of the thickest. Survival of the thickest? Then all the women would survive i was told not to talk to you sorry his beard looks like a mop i can see ghosts too and i know that's not all you've been seeing lately is it strange faces peering through the veil and sir oh, no don't talk to a child like that curse. you're scaring him the witch's curse is real you've got to use your gift of talking oh my god he's about to die on the spot <clears throat> leave him alone don't make me throw this hummus He's so cute! I love him! <laughs> Damn, he's scared of that spicy hummus. Can you see ghosts, like, everywhere all the time? This kid looks like a Cabbage Patch kid. Do you think you can see my dog, Bub? We're gonna go play with the dead dog in the garden, and we're not even gonna have to dig him up first! Ew! Isn't he that weird kid? His head. <laughs> can you feel if I pet him? Mmm, mmm, oh. bubby It's a butt. <laughs> Damn, ass up. Go get Bub. Why don't you try? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I stretched it. <laughs> <laughs> They're besties now. I love that. Doesn't he realize we're running out of- <sighs> Oh shit! He actually did die. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he sucked that bitch right back in. No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet! <laughs> Never mind. You suck. Kill the witch! Oh my god, he's getting distracted mid-performance? Bro. Oh no. Not again. Oh my god. That's kind of horrifying. Oh shit, if he's actually running, what is that looking like on the actual stage? Because it's not like he actually left, right? He's just like seeing this. Are you okay? Oh! Did he say the dead are coming? The tree told me! Uh, it's one thing being a mental case in front of your family, but not the whole freaking town. I asked to be born this way. Funny. Neither did we. <laughs> Bro, that dad's an asshole. He shouldn't be afraid of me. He's not afraid of you. He's afraid for you. Do you think the mom can see dead people too, but she just hides it? What did the tree tell you today, Norman? <laughs> Are the dead coming soon, Norman? Well, they're gonna eat their words when zombies come up. Oh, is he gonna be wrapped up like a mummy? Oh. Ew, and that bathroom is grimy as fuck too. I've been holding back the witch's curse for years, but now I'm dead. It has to be you. That ghost is going to wake up, and when she does, she'll raise the dead. Wait, that's, that is too much for a child. But, but I'm just a kid! Help. Exactly. Read from the book at the spot. The witch was buried. Wh what book? The one in my hands. The me that's at home in my study starting to smell a little funny. Get Ew. Perhaps he should call the police so they can find his body. Tell me you'll do this. Swear! You, you mean like the F word? I mean <laughs> promise! That was a good joke. <laughs> Sorry kid, I'm done here. I'm free. Wait, no, no you can't leave now. <laughs> Oh shit! He's gonna be like, that was a powerful fart, bro. I'll put you in the boobs. I don't have boobs. These are pectorals. <laughs> Ow, my boobs! <laughs> He's probably up there right now, fiddling with his Ouija or his orb. His Ouija? That invites demons. 
the Halloween ringtone. Ah! Is it Halloween that night? I wanna play some hockey. Oh, this kid's so sweet, but he kind of let him down during the play. Mr. Prendergast appeared to me in the bathroom. Ew. <laughs> no, I have to go up to the old graveyard and stop it before the sun sets tonight. Bro, get a move on. The sun is pretty oh. close to setting. <laughs> I'm supposed to be frolicking in paradise with your grandfather. But there's no cable or canasta up there either. If it's paradise, it might. There's nothing wrong with being scared, Norman, so long as you don't let it change who you are. Yeah, I'm stuck on land patrol. Tonight's gonna be a total yawn. Wow, that was a cl- ah! Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say that was a clean swipe. Biked right through his dance session without even thinking about it. Oh my god. This is gonna be so gross because he's used to talking to like dead people. But I don't think he's experienced like an actual dead body in front of him. Ew. Ah! Well, at least he's still solid. Oh man, he's gonna have to pry his fingers off. Oh! Well. He's dead, so I guess- yeah. I was gonna fall on him. Ew! Norman, call the police so they can find his body. Well, I like that detail of how the sun is shining through his ears, like actual ears. This is it. Boy, if you don't fucking hurry up, that sun is setting. His hair! Once upon a time! Does he have to- Does he have to say the entire book? What? Fairy tale? Ooh, what you got there, Geekula? No! I'm interested in talking to me, yeah? Ooh, that was cool. Thanks. The way that it uh -oh. was wrapped in black. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Okay, the uncle didn't want to tell him what to do in the case that the dead did rise. Once upon a time, in, in a far off, once, once upon a time, in a, it, it's not working. Because you keep repeating the line and you didn't even finish the sentence. Stop. Stop. Okay, I was thinking if he could understand the zombies because they're technically dead. So he would still be able to talk to them, right? Yeah. Oh my. Are you freeze framing mom's aerobics DVD again? No. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Can I help you? Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't really think he was serious about going up to the old graveyard on his own. Will you help me? This girl. Are they gonna try to eat our brains? I think you'll be safe. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. He told me to read from the book to stop the curse. Yeah, that's a I thick ass book. Like Where was he supposed to like start? Seven victims. Wait, you seven graves. <laughs> Which is grave? It wasn't there! Do you think these zombies are helpful? Because they were the victims of the curse. So wouldn't they be pissed as fuck at the witch who killed them? My guess is that these zombies are friendly and are gonna take his side. I want to do something that helps people less fortunate than me. Thank you very much. You know, like, um... <laughs> this man has no thoughts behind those eyes. Do you use free weights? Because your deltoids are huge. I've never used deltoids in my life. I swear you can test me. Kill me. No, she actually meant Altoids, the mint. He's still breathing. He's okay. Did you see that? That was insane. I know, right? I kicked that like a hundred yards. Norman, what just happened? What do we do? Why would you drag him in the car? found guilty of witchcraft weren't considered people anymore. Your witch was buried someplace else. In an unmarked grave, there may be a record of her execution and burial in the archives. How come his uncle didn't fucking tell him where the witch's grave was before he left? Come on. That uncle wanted him to fail. He was like, I'm dead. It is literally not my problem anymore. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! <laughs> Oh, I thought this woman was gonna be like, that is terrific acting. Where are the police when you need them? Oh! oh. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby? You'll be alright. 
Oh, the car. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Perfect. Now the geeks are in charge. God, why does she still have an attitude when she knows that some freaky shit is happening? I guess rising from their grave wasn't the only thing that rose that night. Oh, shit. She got it on her. Does anyone know how to pick a lock? Oops. Man, zombies take over the world and we lock ourselves in a library? Are you kidding me? Page one. That's best. Would have been a quiet night, too, if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. Oh, shit. They drove right into the crowd, people. What do you think you're doing firing at civilians? That is for the police to do. Yeah, see, they're scared of the witch. There's no way these zombies are evil. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war! She saw the opportunity and took it. Just give it up, you wiener. No, we have to keep trying. We tried, and look what happened. Did you try? You need to stop all this weird stuff and start living in the real world. Everyone in the this real bitch, world- This bitch, do you not realize that there are zombies out there? Oh shit. Why would you listen to me? Why are you doing this? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ooh, is he gonna see what happened to her? Agatha Prendergast. This magic Wait, he's related to the witch. Maybe the witch is not the bad guy? And she's trying to get some justice. You were speaking with the dead! Oh fuck. That fucking sucks. Perhaps they deserved it. You must stop the curse. Fucking your ah! I knew it! You can speak to the dead. Is he gonna have to? T yeah, he's gonna have to talk to Agatha. Need you to read from the book. Oh, is it like the fairy tale to like calm her down or something? Lull her to sleep. A bedtime story to keep a little girl asleep. Oh my god, really? Every year, someone reads the story at her grave. Before me, it was Mr. Prendergast. And before him, there were others. The curse doesn't ever go away. Nothing gets better. It's not enough. That's true. I was thinking Mr. Prendergast was saying how he had been doing it all his life. Then he's passing it on to Norman. So he'd have to like be committed to like that town for all his life. That kind of sucks. I mean, he could always move away, but he would always have to come back once a year. The curse isn't about the zombies hurting you. It's about you hurting them. I figured it out and, and I know a way to stop this. He's in league with them. Once <laughs> they didn't even listen to him. Leave him alone. You all need to stop trying to kill my brother. You're adults. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> She's talking to them like they're children. They're not going to hurt us. No, just stupid people who should have known better. They were just like you. She's just mad that she can't torture these men. But maybe she was in the right. Maybe she's in the right. I don't know. I think the zombies kind of deserved it. You've got to get to that witch's grave. I'm not letting you give up now. Did they even find where her grave is? You think maybe we should stop at a graveyard and dig up some other 18th century corpses? It's not a bad idea. I wish I understood you. These parents are getting a divorce. Someone's got to talk to her, Dad. Why is that person you, exactly? Because he's the only one that can talk to ghosts. Come on, Dad. Oh, my goodness. Look out! Oh! You're not welcome here. Go away. We're actually kind of the same, you and I. You're not dead. Yeah, but you're related. I know you're probably tired, right? Because, I mean, it's, it's really late and... <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep. And you can't make me. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. That's a cool design. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Leave me alone. You can see the determination by the way his eyebrows furled. Once upon a time, long ago, there was a little girl. What? A, a little girl who was different. Who was different. <laughs> oh shit, that's me. She turned away from everyone and became sad and lonely. The visuals for this movie are kind of crazy. Uh, oh my god. I'll make you suffer! Why? Uh, because you want everyone to hurt just as much as you are. 
Damn, you tell her. Yo, this is kind of sick. There must have been someone who loved you and cared for you. Remember! Ooh. Oh my god, it was a boy? Oh. <laughs> I thought she had a boy back in the day. Sometimes when people get scared, they say and do terrible things. I think you got so scared that you forgot who you are. Wow. That's exactly what the grandma told him. You think just because there's bad people out there that... There's no good ones either. There's always someone out there for you. Somewhere. Yeah, like your new friend. Whose name I never actually learned. <laughs> I don't know what the fat kid's name is, actually. It's a pretty good place to sleep. And you can be with your mom again. Oh Wow, Norman, you did that. Although, I don't know how much this would help your case in school. People would still think you're weird and scary. And then the city charges the family about property damage and then the family goes into debt. That mask has been on her face all night. Her skin must be dry as fuck. So I was thinking maybe we could catch a movie sometime. That sounds great, Kathy. You know, <laughs> you're gonna love my boyfriend. <laughs> I did not expect that. Hey, Neil. Oh, his name's Neil. Your grandma here, is she? Did he turn up the thermostat? Aww. That was a cute movie! This is definitely a movie that I feel like both kids and adults would like. I think it has a pretty like good message. Even though you were picked on, bullied, or blah blah blah, like it doesn't give you the right to like do that to other people kind of thing. I wish there was more time spent on Neo as a character. He was really cute. I loved him. That sucked. Even if he understood Norman a bit after the whole ordeal. The sister was kind of annoying, not gonna lie. <laughs> I guess she turned around and sided with Norman, but I don't know. Also, at the beginning of the movie, it said it was produced by Laika, which sounds really familiar, so I'm gonna look that up, actually. Okay, so it's a company that does stop motion. So they also did Coraline, which I totally could see. Like, it gave me Coraline vibes. For some reason, I thought this was a DreamWorks movie, but then I realized it wasn't when the DreamWorks logo didn't show up, so. I thought the visuals were pretty good, like, the design for Agatha. I also really liked when Norman would, like, go back to the past. The background looked like paper burning. I thought that was really cool. That was a cute little movie, and I'm glad I watched it. Hello, I am interjecting because I feel like when I briefly mentioned the message of the movie, I didn't talk a lot about it and I wanted to elaborate more. So in addition of what I said, there's also that social commentary about how when people are like afraid of the unknown, they lash out and there's like this kind of like mob mentality. Like literally in the movie, they became a mob. The unknown being different can be scary, but a lot of times people use that and escalate it to a point where like people can become violent and hateful. Even if you're afraid of something different of the unknown doesn't mean it should be shunned or that you should treat them like a pariah or whatever and i know like during the video i <laughs> was kind of on agatha's side because i was like you know those people kind of deserved it because they literally killed off a child but i mean you know like the end of the day the message is clear like combating hate with hate sometimes doesn't work sometimes it makes the whole situation worse. Even though this is a movie about zombies and curses, it's actually pretty relatable to real life. So yeah. Thank you again to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. Remember to use my exclusive link below to get your first bag from Trade Coffee for free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.